So in this example of uh, divisibility proof using induction, I'm asked to prove that if n belongs to the positive integers, that uh, 133, quite a big number, divides 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1. So this is actually really similar to an, another example I did, but I, I wasn't sure if the, the sort of idea came across correctly, so I want to do another example. So again, quickly, a quick recall of recall of divisibility. Ability. So we say that A divides A divides B or A bar B if uh, B over A is equal to an integer K. So K is an integer. Okay? Or we also write this as a, B is equal to A K. So this is a quick recall on divisibility. Okay, so my uh, my statement PN in this case statement PN is going to be that 133 divides 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, so obviously the way to attack this is first by doing a base case. So my base case will be base case will be, in this case, I know that n belongs to the positive integers, right? This z positive is just the positive integers, and the smallest positive integer is not 0. 0 is neither negative nor positive, um, so it's going to be 1, n is equal to 1, okay? And, okay, so, so what I need to do is I need to show, I need to show that p1 is true. Okay, so I just replace one. Uh, I replace n by one in this expression over here. So I get 11 to the one plus one plus 12 to the two times one minus one. So that's 11 square plus uh, 12 to the one. 11 square is 121 plus 12 is conveniently 100 and 33. Clearly 133 is divisible by 133, right? So P1 is true, P1 is true, and so my base case is proof. Base case is, is proven, okay? Okay, now on to the inductive step. So my inductive step, inductive step, remember, is I'm going to going to assume assume that Pn is true. I'm going to assume that Pn I'm going to assume that Pn is true. Is true. Okay. Uh, in other words, I'm assuming that, assuming that 133 divides 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, so that's what I'm assuming. Now, my goal, my goal is to prove, whoa, to prove p n plus 1, i.e. to show that 133 divides 11 to the n plus 1 plus 1, plus 12 to the 2 times n plus 1, minus 1. So I'm trying to show this. I'm trying to show that 133, remember this bar here, is just divides. Divides, okay? So I'm just trying to show this, okay? Um, the way to do this is first I start with with this, this monstrosity, and I try to Try to do something with it. So, 11 to the n plus 1 plus 1 plus 12 to the 2 times n plus 1 minus 1. I can rewrite this as, well, um, a similar trick as to uh, in another video is I, 
what I want to do, I want to, I want to get to my uh, assumption, right? I want to, the, the whole point of a proof by induction is using your assumption. So if I don't use my assumption, there's no, there's no point in a proof by induction. So I want to get to an expression that looks like, or that has 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, so the way the way to get rid of my one here because that's not in my in my assumption here is I just sort of I I put it in front as a coefficient because I know that a to the n times a to the m is equal to a to the n n plus m so in this case I can I can reverse this and say in this case I can say eleven to the n plus m is equal to 11 to the n times 11 to the n. But in this case, this is like my n. I probably should have used a different letter, but this is my n. So I can rewrite this as, I can rewrite this as 11 to the 1 times 11 to the n plus 1. Okay? So I haven't changed anything to my statement. It's still the same statement. Okay? Plus, and I'm going to expand this part. 12 to the 2n plus 2 minus 1. And so your, your instant reflex when you see like terms is to cancel them or to, to add them up or whatever. In this case, don't do that because you want to keep the 2n, the 2n minus minus 1, 2n minus 1. Whoa, that's not 2n minus 1 for your inductive step or for your assumption. Okay, so you keep that. But you want to get rid of your 2 here. So I'll just rewrite it so it's clear. So I have 11 times 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1 plus 2. So I want to get rid of this 2. So I use the same trick I used here. This, so this is like my n and this is like my m. So I'll get 12 to the n times 12 to the m, in this case, 12 to the 2. Okay, so if you didn't get what I just said, which is, whoa, perfectly fine, it's just 11 times 11 to the n plus 1, plus, now I have 12 squared times 12 to the 2n minus 1. Well, what's 12 squared? 12 squared can be written as n plus 1 plus 144. Right, that's just this is 12 squared times 12 to the 2 n minus 1. Okay, so I'm done simplifying the exponents. Now from this, I want to get, I want to get, so I want to get, want to get uh, something that looks like k, right, an integer times 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2 n minus 1, because because if I get k times this thing, I know that this thing is divisible by 133. So all of this, so all of this will be divisible, will be divisible by 133. That's the idea or that's the goal I'm trying to get at. Okay. So how do I do this? Well, this is sort of a basic trick in these kinds of proofs. I rewrite, I, it doesn't look like I can really rewrite this as anything, but this has this has a lot of, of integers in them. And if you sort of think about it, um, 133 plus 11 is equal to 144, right? 133 plus, plus 11 is equal to 144. And you'll say, well, why 133 and why 11? Well, 133 is what I'm trying to divide by, and 11 I can see that I have 11 as a common factor here. And so what I'll get, what I'll get, I'll write this in a different color. I'll get this is equal to 11 times 11 to the n plus 1 plus 11 plus 133. Right, I haven't changed anything. This is still together 144 times 12 to the 2n minus 1. So times. Okay? So if I distribute, if I distribute, then I'll get 11 times 11 to the n plus 1 plus 11 times 12 to 
the 2n minus 1 plus 133 times 12 to the 2n minus 1. And so this I can factor an 11 out of. So I can get 11, well, okay, I'm using too many colors now. Sorry about that, guys. So it's equal to 11 times 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1. Okay? So I have this. This is good because this is this is what I was looking for in here. This is my inductive step right here, okay? Or my inductive hypothesis, okay? And I have plus 133 times 12 to the, oh, this should have minus 1. 12 to the 2n minus 1, okay? Well, this is divisible, divisible by 133. And by this, I mean all of this. So, okay, all of this is divisible by 133. And 133 times something is obviously divisible by 133, okay? So if I have two things that are divisible by 133, and I add them together, so as an aside, aside, uh, if I have two things divisible by 133, and this is just standard procedure in any divisibility thing, you'll always have a bunch of term, terms adding up that are, that are going to be divisible by your integer. So if two things are divisible by 133, you can write them as like 133k for whatever k plus 133t for whatever t. So k and t belong to the integers instead of integers. And you can factor the 133. So it's clear now that this expression is divisible by 133. So this, as a result, proves that. So this proves that pn plus 1 is true and so you can conclude conclude that pn is true i.e. that 133 133 divides 11 to the n plus 1 plus 12 to the 2n minus 1 so this is a very sort of um, common uh, question or sort of test uh, kind of question to see because it, it, it has it has very so it, it always has the same sort of concepts where here you want to sort of uh, expand your coefficient into two adding terms and then factor them so you can get you can get two or more expressions that are divisible by the number you want to get get or the number that, that you want to divide by. In this case, 133.